Hello everyone, welcome to Resident Evil Rerun. This is where I will play every single title in the Resident Evil franchise, excluding these four. Now when I say play, I mean getting every single achievement in these games except for that piece of shit HD remaster and it's bullshit achievements. I'll also do Resident Evil Zero last because I uh, want to get these videos out as fast as possible and I get real tired from doing the whole fixed camera angle thing because you know I'm a millennial and my first game was Resident Evil 6. After 100% of the game and its achievements, I will review it and place it on the tier list. F tier being the worst it can get and S tier being an absolute masterpiece. I also cannot do the original three titles of Veronica X as I do not own any consoles that can play those games, however when I get a PS1 I might do reviews on those. We will do the games in order in my library and here we go. Uh, you know what? I actually think... Uh, that the Resident Evil 5 Chris skin is bad luck. So, I'm gonna use the normal Chris skin. <laughs> Stupid game. Ah, <sighs> yes. Where it all started. Obviously, this is the remake of the first game, but unlike the other remakes in the franchise, it's practically the same game, but with some extra tidbits here and there, as well as some... Well, better voice acting. Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a jibble sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? <laughs> Now I'm going to open up by saying I actually really like this game. Sure, I do get tired of fixed camera angles, but that doesn't make it unplayable. If you don't try and smash out this game on your first go and in one sitting, it's a really, really fun experience. But I also really, really fucking hate it when cameras are just placed poorly. Fuck. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Fuck. Chris. <laughs> God damn it. Background footage used here is a playthrough I did to get these achievements in one go, so that's why you won't see me shooting guns. And I will be using footage of the in-game cutscenes by steel, I mean borrowing clips from Gamer's Little Playground. So, what are the pros and cons of this game? Well, I'd say its enemy variety is just absolutely insane. Zombies, Crimson Heads, Hunters, Yawn, Spider-Man, Spider, and shit's fucking bees and flowers. This game is absolutely packed with enemies, and it really shows when you're constantly thinking about how scared you are that there might be a new enemy around every corner, and I think that really creates the amazing fear that you want from a survival horror game. I think that while the inventory system is annoying, it does what the developers want you to do, which is really think, and I mean really think about about what you want to pick up or what you don't want to pick up. But of course, there is the item box where you can place items in and pick up later from any other item box that's located around the map. Kind of like an ender chest. <laughs> I think for a game from 2002, even though this is the PC port, it looks absolutely amazing compared to literally any other game from this era. This is thanks to pre-rendered backgrounds where pretty much everything that's not your character is just a JPEG. The developers did this so that they could focus more of the system space and polygons towards the characters themselves and not ever everything else, whether it's for better or for worse. Ugh. Yuck. Bro, these backgrounds look like shit. Oh my fucking- I think the boss fights are really, really fun, except for the Elder Crimson Head when you're doing the close quarters combat for the win trophy. I also think that the fuel canister segment of the game, while finicky, is really fucking scary, because if you run for too long, you blow up. If you get shaken by an enemy, you blow up. And if you shoot your gun at all, you blow up. Oh, but you could just learn from your mistakes and do it again, you say? Well, good luck getting back there if you didn't save. Unlike most games with an autosave feature, this game uses ink ribbons that you yourself have to use a typewriters around the game to save your progress and not only are your ink ribbons limited but if you for example don't save like i was trying to do for this achievement then you have to go all the way back to the start of the game if you die
Oh. He has a nice ass. <clears throat> nice. Now for the cons. Well, I briefly touched on it earlier, but sometimes the cameras just don't work. And like I said, if you're like me, the camera angles can make the game a bit of a chore in the end. Other than that, this game is absolutely amazing. It was just made beautifully by people that had passion for a franchise that was born out of a terrible, shitty game. Now for the story. And, um... <sighs> I uh, don't know. Story is pretty basic. A squad got sent to investigate the mountains, and they died. So another squad got sent to investigate the dead squad, and most of them died. One of them was secretly working for a pharmaceutical company called Umbrella that created this deadly virus and the creatures that came from it, and all underneath a beautifully crafted mansion that was funded by Oswald Spencer and built by George Trevor. It's obviously very bare bones, as games didn't need crazy stories back then, but you know, humble beginnings for a franchise that gets absolutely insane later on. All in all, I think this game, while not being the best, it certainly almost gets there and is held down by very little. While this might upset some of the core Resident Evil fan base, I'll be giving the Resident Evil HD Remaster an A. Since I said we'll be doing the games in order of how my library is arranged, and I also said that we're doing Resident Evil Zero last, next up is the Resident Evil 2 Remake, which I will have to make a separate account for because, um, I've already got all the trophies. I think that while the inventory system is annoying, it does what the developers want you to do, which is really think, and I mean really think, about what you want to pick up or what you want to, don't want to pick up. 